Hey Rack and Beer viewers, gonna this is gonna be a real <laughs> I literally I just walked, I mean, I don't know, I don't even have any of the lights on. I just walked you can see the clear skies out there, right? I just walked across the uh the driveway in uh in sunny skies and now I can look out there and it's hailing. That's uh that's a uh, perfect uh perfect weather for the situation here. Hey, how's it going? I think this is going to be a, an effort Friday. Um, I just finished up my work, uh, my work day, and I thought that um, I would uh, I would have a beer and uh, have a, a short uh, little discussion with the internet. So oh, it's my two-hearted ale, uh, my last one, the only remaining one in Denmark, to my knowledge, anyway. Uh, and I thought that today was a good day to drink it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna save it any longer. Uh, the um, I sent two of these to the Big Banana over in Ireland, over in Northern Ireland, um, and he just did a video comparing it with his uh, homebrewed version. So that's really cool. If I can remember, I'll put a a thing up. Um, that's really I'm glad he really seemed to like it. So I'm always glad when people like this beer because it's one of my favorites. So, all right, let's uh, let's drink her up. She's going in a in her home. Bell's glass. There we go. Let's talk about some some real cool stuff that's going on. So today was my uh, first uh, day in. Um, in government mandated quarantine. That's uh, isn't that neat? That sounds nice, huh? Uh, yeah, the Denmark where I live is uh, basically shut down uh, due to the coronavirus. Uh, our our infected rates um, were skyrocketing. I think uh, Monday um, Monday was at like ninety. And then by Wednesday, it was like over 400, and now it's climbing towards a thousand. And we had our first death uh, this morning. Uh, first person died from it. So uh, yeah, they just uh, press conference the other day, uh, and they said that uh, shut it down, shut her all down. Schools are closed, universities are closed. Um, uh, Workplaces were urged, and to my knowledge, most of them, especially in like my sector where um, you can work from home, um, but places were urged to send your workers home, send people if they can work from home, and that's for two weeks, uh, at least two weeks. They've uh, they've talked about that. There's you know there's no uh, two weeks is like the when we're gonna take a you know. Take a measurement of the situation. Cheers. I'm gonna drink this. Oh. You are exactly what I needed right now. After all this. Uh, yeah, so. Two weeks uh, home uh, work. And uh, today was my first day doing that. It's a lot of a lot of online meetings. A lot of figuring out how things are going to work. And, uh, yeah, so the, uh, and then as of Monday, they've been trying to get it passed because, um, uh, a lot of bars and stuff are still, were still open and people were, were, you know, upset over the fact that some businesses were asked to close and some weren't, um, but uh, as of Monday, there's an emergency order that everybody, so like bars and nightclubs and restaurants and that are all going to close uh, as well. So people aren't congregating. Pretty much the only thing that's going to stay open are, um, you know, grocery stores and hospitals and you know, power plants and stuff like that. So, yeah, man, uh, I don't know. I, I've heard... Um, I've talked with uh, people over in the U.S. Things are things are heading the same way over there. Uh, I know over just about everywhere in Europe, Italy's all shut down. Uh, it's uh, it's crazy times. It is uh, real crazy times. Real crazy times that uh, require a beer. 
So cheers to everybody. I hope everybody out there is safe. Um, take this, take this seriously. I mean, eh. I'm not complaining about any of this either. I think that this is the best course of action uh, right now. We just need to burn it out. Just need to get rid of it. Um, and it's not even, you know, it's not even that it's something that you're going to catch it and then you're going to drop dead, you know, and we're going to have, you know, apocalypse where we've got bodies piled in the street. It's, it's that the, the whole system isn't going to be able to handle everybody being sick at the same time. So it's, uh, yeah, it sucks. It sucks that it has to be, but I'm, I'm not, com I think it's the best thing to do is, is just to keep people away from each other. Uh, social distancing, I think, is what they're calling it. Um, and yeah, let let all this stuff burn itself out. Let the let the virus die out. Um, let the you know let the hospitals treat the people who've already got it. And um, yeah, and then the rest of us can you know stay safe. But uh, yeah, so um, it's a weird video, isn't it? You just listening to me ramble about the virus. So, but, uh, yeah, I just, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what's going on out there? What's going on out there with everybody else? Uh, beer wise, brewing wise, just to, just to stop rambling about, um, yeah, pandemics. Uh, I've got one beer that is ready to keg. Um, I wanted to keg it today, but I'm not sure. I got another meeting I have to jump on and. Just uh, just saw a notification come on. So, not sure I'll be able to get it kicked today, but tomorrow for sure. Um, and, and that's the uh, the IPA that I threw together on the... It's been sitting in primary for too long, but the reason is, is that I want to put something else on top of the yeast cake, which is what I'm going to do tomorrow. I've collected the water already, and i um, ground the malt up for... Uh, uh, black IPA, so I'm gonna put that on top of the yeast cake for the um, for the oat pale ale. Well, it's not actually a pale ale anymore. It got to like seven, like six point eight percent alcohol, so it's an IPA now. But um, I want to put it on the cake for that. Gonna keg that um, and get that carbonating because you know you never know. I might uh, I might need the uh, might need some beer and I want to get a pipeline going. You know what I'm saying? And you know it's easier. I don't have a commute anymore and stuff, so I've actually got more time in the day. So I wanna I wanna brew. Uh, I'm gonna basically just use up all the crap I've got laying around. Um, get everything brewed up. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna brew just the and then I've got just a bunch of random crap in a bucket over there that I'm gonna grind up and make into some kind of old ale or. Or something or other and then I've probably got enough base malt left for maybe one more maybe 10 liter batch might might do that as well I've got a lot of yeast too um, boy yeah so beer um, I still got some of my Imperial stout that's the only thing I've got on tap and then soon the the IPA uh, I'm gonna carve that up hopefully have that hopefully have that drinking by by you know next week and that'll be my that'll be my quarantine beer so hopefully by homebrew wednesday of next week i'll be uh i'll be drinking on that we'll see mm. so good maybe i should i should make a i think um just having this beer around for a little while Watching Big Bananas uh, video has made me want to make a, I think I'm going to make a clone, two hearted clone. i um, going to order some, some stuff. Don't know when it'll show up because, I don't know, there's still shipping stuff now. Um, it's one of the few things that's actually still going on. In fact, I just ordered beer. Um, if you're in a quarantine country where you're not allowed to go to bars and stuff like Denmark, just a just a PSA. Order some beer from from your local brewery. Um, order it delivered. Uh, a lot of breweries here, um, they're going to take a big hit. Uh, a lot of local, a lot of small local places are going to take a big hit off this. I've ordered some beer already from a couple of breweries. Um, they'll bring it. They just 
leave it at the door. Nobody touches anybody. Nobody even talks to anybody. Um, get, order some beer. Throw some money towards some of the guys who are gonna are gonna take a big hit from this. Um, not being able to, you know, have events and tap rooms open and stuff. So little little PSA there. I'm gonna go in. I'm probably gonna order some more stuff. Uh, and yeah, and then. Yeah, and brew your own beer because, you know, who knows? Maybe there'll be a run on beer at the store. I'm uh, here in Denmark. One of the weird things that goes is yeast. So, like, baking yeast um, for making bread. People go crazy and just hoard it. Uh, I mean, I'm going to have a bunch of yeast cakes. I already got a huge yeast cake in there on my other beer. And if I brew a, if I brew a few more beers, I'm gonna have a lot of yeast. I'm gonna have a lot of yeast and a lot of beer, so I'm gonna become the king. I'm gonna become the king of this town with all the just uh, just beer and yeast, and I've got it in abundance. All right, that's that's. Uh, right, I'm gonna end on that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and uh, finish this beer off, and uh, I think clean up a cake. Yeah, that sounds like a good use of my time. Anyway, guys, stay safe out there, uh, and, um, yeah, just, uh, take care. Don't take any unnecessary risks. I know that everybody thinks they're invincible, but you're not. Um, and, uh, yeah, cheers. We'll see you, uh, we'll see you yeah, next week, or maybe I might put out some videos this weekend. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Cheers, guys.